I'm Nancy Grace. I want to thank you for being with us. Bombshell tonight, live, North Carolina. A 10-year-old little girl, completely dependent on two hearing aids, losing her left leg to childhood bone cancer, snatched from her own bedroom in the dark of night at this hour, right now, into the night. A massive search now underway. Cops, cadaver dogs, hone in on a wood and mulch pile, sifting through debris literally on their hands and knees. Have the canines hit on the scent of human remains. We came here specifically to hunt for remains. A full-scale search is underway today. Yes. To find Zara Baker. She's 10 years old. Cancer survivor. Zara Claire Baker. This investigation is now being investigated as a homicide investigation. The information keeps leading back to this location. Police were led to this area initially. The father, the, the people who owned the property. Questions are being raised about him. The father's familiar with this property. Because Adam Baker, the father of Zara Baker. They dumped some of their brush from a free family business here. Has the equipment that he keeps on this land. That's where the search is. And now where are we? The never done. Titus was taken from the home. Scent of human remains. No one. Lisa Baker. Repeat, no one. Stepmom. Is ruled out as a suspect. We are at a point where they're draining a pond in the middle of the night trying to look for her remains. You know, there are a lot of allegations of abuse. Do you want to say anything in your mother's defense? Uh, uh, Right now is not the appropriate time for that, you know, look, we need to let all the facts come out and, and go from there. That was Alyssa Baker's son on ABC's Good Morning America. We are taking your calls live, but right now out to the search site at Mortgage of North Carolina, Natisha Lance standing by. Natisha, what's going on? Well, today, Nancy, a massive surge back at this search location that Adam Baker has ties to for work reasons. Police were out here today with about 70 searchers, cadaver dogs. There was a backhoe out that was clearing logs away and then all the way down to the earth and then bringing cadaver dogs in to look at that area. Four wheelers were out today also. They used a grid search method to search this area. It was about 60 acres, according to the sheriff of Burke County. Wait he a minute, wait a minute. That Back it up, Natisha. Tell me the part again. Let me take this in about what, digging down to, to what level they're going into this big uh, mulch and wood pile. Right, Nancy, there were wood piles and they were using a backhoe to remove the wood from those wood piles down to the earth, then bringing the cadaver dogs in to sniff around on the earth as well as on those log piles. Okay, tell me how they are doing it. I understand it's an extremely methodical process, lying out long poles to cordon off the earth. How is it happening? How are they doing it, Atisha? Just like you said, Nancy, they are doing it extremely methodically, going over this area over and over again. They also use rakes to sift through this area, sift through any type of mulch or leaves, looking for any kind of clues that could lead them to Zara. Now, also, additionally, Nancy, they are trying to narrow in on this timeline. What we learned today is that police are getting closer to that. They now have found someone outside of the family who saw Zara in mid-September to late September. Okay, who is it? Where did they see the girl? What do you know, Natisha? And please don't make me pull teeth tonight. What do we know? They're not naming that person, Nancy. They said that they are still trying to narrow down those details, but they are saying that they have identified the person outside of the immediate family who did see Zara mid-September to late September. Also, a local report is saying that Zara did make that move with her family to the new home at the Hickory location where police, where neighbors have said that they never even saw her around that neighborhood, but police are saying that she did make that move with her family. Everybody, you are seeing shots of an ongoing search. Okay, Natisha, where does that lead me? Today is October 14. So at the very best, 30 days past September, that's two weeks since anyone has seen her. You're right, Nancy, but people in that neighborhood have said that they did not see her. So we are trying to figure out who this person was that did see her. Was it somebody who was at a store? Was it a doctor? Was it a school teacher? Was it somebody who saw her walking somewhere? Those are still questions that still need well, to be answered. I know but it's police not a are still teacher, trying to narrow it down. Because I know it's not a school teacher because this father agreed for the stepmother 
to homeschool the little girl. Okay, Natisha, I want more detail about what these dogs are doing. Ellie Jostad tells me that the dogs were literally, some of them lying down on the ground and that the police, the experts in this, were digging down into the earth with long poles, filming it. I gotta hear the whole thing to figure out what they're doing, Natisha. Well, at certain points, the investigators did have on gloves. They were holding up bags to the dogs, trying to get them to get a sniff. Some of the dogs did lay down at certain points where it appeared that they may have hit on something, although there is no confirmation of that. Also, there were poles that were seen, which would appear that they were digging into the earth, getting soil samples of some sort. But they did a very methodical search of this area, going over and over it again, searching with a fine tooth comb. Also with us there at the Mortgage of North Carolina search site, the editor of the Hickory Daily Record, John Miller. He's been on the story from the very beginning. Okay, John, be my eyes, be my ears. Tell me what you're seeing out there. What went down? This was a, as, as Letitia said, 70 officers from Fire Rescue, Hickory, Burke County. They wanted to leave, and the quote is, they wanted to leave no bush that they didn't look under, no piece of wood they didn't look under. And it's a 60 acre site. So they were very methodical and looking under everything that they hadn't looked for before. And what they were really trying to do from what sources in Hickory tell me is that they are trying to eliminate this site as a possible site where the body might be found. Well, so that's why the they're going over the it again Pat and again Brown, and again. Criminal profiler are joining us out of DC. Here's the thing, if that hit on the wood chipper, the cadaver dog or canine that hit on the wood chipper. If that industrial wood chipper was used in the disposal and destruction of this little girl's body, they're not going to find a piece of her body. They're not going to find a body as we know it, Pat Brown. Yeah, that's correct. I, they might find bone fragments, though, and that's what they're looking for. There's evidence that her body was you know, put through a wood chipper, at least you know, they, they won't know what the cause of death is, but they'll sure know that they went to an awful lot of work to get rid of her, so that would be very important to find. Out to point. the lines, Crystal, Ohio. Hi, Crystal, what's your question? Hi, Nancy. Um, I just want to tell you that you are truly, truly one of God's special angels. The work Thank that you, you do is amazing. I and appreciate we love you that, here. and, and I, I pray that somehow we are getting closer to finding out what happened to little Zara. What is your question, Crystal? Um, how is the investigation going um, in regards to the father? What do the police know about Good him? question. Ellie just said, I'm seeing an about face as the police discuss the father and the natural son of the stepmother. He's asked in public about his mom and he won't come and he will not defend his own mother. Yeah, you're yeah, you're totally right, Nancy. This is the son. His name is uh, Douglas Proctor. He was at that vigil for Zara last night. And when a reporter asked him, do you want to say something in your mother's defense? He said, now is not the appropriate time. I need to gather more facts. I can't talk about it. What happened to 10-year-old Zara Baker? Zara Baker. Who fought cancer. Zara Claire Baker. Lost her leg. Zara. 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 And her hearing. I can actually hear more than without my hearing. Police in Hickory, North Carolina believe she is dead. They're talking a lot about the wood chipper. And, you know, thinking that this child was put in the wood chipper. In my opinion, the child was not put in the wood chipper. If the child was put in the wood chipper, there would be a huge amount of blood all within the works of the wood chipper. And coming out of the wood chipper, just spewing through areas surrounding. So I don't believe that the child was put in the wood chipper. And I think that someone had stated that it would it wouldn't work that way going through the wood chipper for whatever reason, a body something about a wood chipper. But I just don't believe that this child was put in there only because there would be huge amounts of blood within it and outside of it. And I haven't heard that they took the wood chipper apart dismantled it to see if there were fragments or anything inside it. That's so hard to say. <laughs>